Hi guys, uh, I'm Sayed from Cloud Revolt. In today's topic, we are going to show you some tips and tricks of SSH. So follow along step by step so I can guide you what tips and tricks you can do to make secure your Linux servers. Here we go. Let us spin up our Ubuntu server with the 22.0.0 LTS. Launch the instance. Now, the instance it will take a few minutes to uh, get ready. Still spinning up. All right, it is now ready. So let us as a search. Okay, just clear the screen. Let me do it. Search minus I demo. Yeah. There we go. All right. So, uh, first of all, when you download uh, uh, the SSH key on your system, it has the default permission. So you need to make it read only, like it is showing. Six, four, seven, eight. All right. Let's just share the screen and try one more. It says it has a bad permission. Well, uh, it says it's 0644. Uh, I don't think so. It's, just, it's a safe permission. But uh, let me give it uh, 400. That's what I mostly give to my all the keys. And let us go to the server. Here it is. Let me uh, make the screen a little bigger so you can, uh, you know, see what's going on. Here it is. I think it's quite visible. Now let me clear the screen. Now you can see that I was able to log in with the SSH key. So uh, let me switch to the root now. Right, to the screen. Uh, let me open the file ssh.nf. Okay, the first trick. Uh, or settings which I normally do on my system is to change the port default port to any other port so there are uh, two tricks one is to change a custom port like uh, you do it like you can say it's 44 all right let me restart set okay and i am gonna exit it let's try minus p 44 p for port it will not gonna connect do you know why because when we were, we were launching the instance uh it was uh, allowed only port 22 so let's let us cancel this command and go to our security group here it is this is our security group just open it in a new tab edit the configuration custom port we have 80 40, all right for now we are allowing it for uh public now let us try one more time. Here we go. So this is the first trick. And uh, 
most of the cases you can give your SSH multiple ports as well like um, for outside port you need to connect with 22 so and you need to block 22 for the incoming for the outgoing you may be using 22 port so here you go you just need to insert under port 22 we just close this file and I restart it from ATH. I just control control D exit. So it is gone. Now let's try on 22. See it can log in on port 22 and now let's try on port 44. it can log in on both ports so let's move on to our next trick which is allow root access if you want to allow by default the root permit is not allowed like here you can see it's prohibited dash password which means it, uh, the root can be logged in via ssh key uh, i'll show you uh, what do i mean so i enabled it and i uh, just restart the service again i just go into my ubuntu and i just go to the off rights key okay let me just copy its content the same key you can e you can choose uh multiple keys on the root but uh, currently i am using this key okay let me delete this paste So uh, let us try exit the system from Ubuntu. Now we just gonna change the username to root. Boom, it's in now with root. And you can do is, this is also a good tool you need to install now on each Ubuntu machines when you launch spin up a new AWS H2. So, uh, I was trying to show you which ports they are listening to. So you can see the SSH server is listening on both ports. Now, uh, let us put the password for the root so we can try login with the root with the prohibited password uh, condition. Okay, there's easy one one. Easy one one. That's the password. Unchanged. Okay. Password is updated. Now let us exit this system and try to log in without the key. See, the permission is denied because it does not prohibit it to log in with the root password. Now, let us log in with the key again. I was just showing you. Now I'm going to show you that how to allow the password for root user. Okay. We just YYP, it's gonna copy it. We comment it out. And, uh, there are two options you need to allow now. One is permit root login, yes, with any key and uh, password. Now, 
there is the option which says permit password authentication to yes okay we need to enable it it will allow to log in with the password so any user with the password can log into the system now all right let us exit and now try with this i see let us try what option we have to let's let us check check the logs now We need to check the auth log now to see what we are doing wrong. Uh, as you can see, we are still not able to log in with the root, root user. The issue is when you're launching the AWS instances, we have to go this over. And we have this main file in which you can see we already allowed this permit root login, public key authentication, and password authentication to yes. But still, we are unable to log in with the root password. Now, when in AWS instances, there is another file they keep on sshd underscore config dot d which is overwriting our global parameters like it's reading its uh, parameters which is set to no so if we just change it or delete this file it will start working like for example i just re restart ssh now right now let me log out from the system now. Here we go. It's gonna prompt you. See? Let me log in with the password. We are logging with the password. Now, if you want to disable this, it's very easy to disable it. All you need to do is log in with your PAM. Just for precaution, if you disable it, you will not going to be kicked out from the system. Here we go. Now, let us do this. We delete this parameters option and enabling this permit password authentication. It is a safe option for root to so log in with the key so no brute force attack can or anyone with the password knowing can log into your system let me restart it so, i go now let me log out and give you a demo it will not gonna log in with the password even i am tapping the right password it will not gonna log in see permission denied and when i using the key it will allow me to log in so guys this is the the best way to keep your root user under the ssh key so your super user is safe so none of the user can do anything now let me give you some few tricks which you can do like for example let me open this file as you can see let me reward this 44 port to 22 default or you can keep it as you want and as you can see this parameter listen address it's by default it listen on to any IP let me show you see 
if you want to bind it with the IP or does not allow any public uh, IPs to be 00, zero or any specific on though you can restrict it with this parameters you can configure it and one more option I'm gonna give you see this max auth tries what is this it give you multiple attempts to try with the same user and it gonna block you after number of attempts it will not allow you for a certain period with whatever you have set uh, on your OS so this is uh, you can increase it also make it 10 I mostly give it a 10 so I'll not get blocks to getting log into my okay let us disable the root login root login is disabled but it is enabled uh, via this okay And uh, there is one more tip I want to show you like this uh, by default it can have maximum 10 number of sessions uh, you can increase or decrease as per your need so you will not be able the 11th user will not be able to log in if the 10 users are parallelly connected to the server So guys these are the some tips and tricks which you can improve your login mechanism of your system so enjoy and like subscribe my channel comment if you need any type of topic which you think it is not available so i will try to make it for you so thank you bye bye